how to handle not making a team. When your son or daughter tries out for a team and they don't make the team, there's a lot of disappointment there. The question though isn't, why didn't they make the team? The real question is, what do we do now? And I really think this is an opportunity for your son or daughter to grow. One of the big problems I see in this area is that most of the time, or in many cases, the parent becomes an obstacle to that growth. The parent's focusing on the fact that it was unfair, or that the coach made a mistake, or that there's politics, or whatever. And the thing that I think is important is, is the kid. So if your son or daughter doesn't make the team, let's be part of the solution to the, the situation. Let's not, let's not perpetuate the problem. So what do we do? We go ahead and, and try to make sure that, that your child knows that the most important thing is the effort. That's number one. Did they work hard? Did they try to make the team as hard as they could? Did they prepare for the trial? Number two, okay, they did make the team. They tried hard. They should be proud of their efforts. Now what do we do? Now we have to go ahead and find another team. We have to find another opportunity for them. But while you're doing this, don't miss the point that this is a thing that's going to happen to them in life. You know, we all have situations where we, we, don't, we don't get the job. We don't get the promotion. Things like that happen. What do we do? Well, we kind of live by the, the idea that when one door closes, two more open up. It may not be exactly what we want, but if we're open to it, if we can look for those opportunities, they're going to appear. How to handle little to no playing time. Little to no playing time is, a, is an interesting issue. I personally think that the coach has the responsibility to tell the child, tell the parents, that, that this particular player will find little to no playing time. I think that needs to be established before the boy and the parent commits to playing on the team. Uh, you see mostly this taking place at the high school level. Uh, at the youth level, if you know you're not going to get a whole lot of playing time, um, either one of two things is going on here. Either you really like the team and you love the instruction and it's worth it to you, or um, you're probably going to find another team where you get some playing time. The bottom line is this needs to be communicated beforehand by the coach. You need to know what's going on and you need to know why you're staying in that situation uh, or why you're moving on away from that situation. Um, but again, at the high school level, if your kid's not getting playing time, it's an opportunity to grow. What can he get out of it? A, he can push the other guys around him. B, he can work so hard that the other guys who are playing, they won't feel like they can slack because here's a guy not getting playing time and he's always working hard, so how can the better player slack? Um, the bottom line is there's always something about no little or no playing time that's good. Um, in my job here at St. Lucie High, what happens when a guy doesn't have playing time? Yes, I've communicated that to him. But to be honest with you, I know, I know that that kid's growing through the opportunity, through the experience, because he's giving of himself in a way that very few people do. He's giving of himself to make other people better. He's giving of himself to make sure that he becomes better, but he's not going to get a whole lot of glory out there. But he's still growing as a person. So at the high school level, I see it as an opportunity.